When I received the hard copy of the anthology, the title gave me pause. Stay a while. So I did, as I immersed myself in Luminica Sherbanescu's opening artwork, Finding the Silver Lining. On the opposite page, an excerpt from one of my favorite books, The Greek Treasure by Irving Stone. The excerpt is a cogent and subtle introduction that gives the readers a taste of what they might expect in this Romanian-English anthology, edited by Mihaela Cristescu and Sue Crawford. It is a powerful collection of poetry and prose featuring 54 authors. I feel privileged to launch the works of the 26 authors published in Romanian. I will be using Luminita's beautiful artwork throughout my presentation as the canvas for the sound of my words. This way, my words can rest, at least for a while, in the same evocative visual space inhabited by all the other words in this anthology. I'm an avid reader of literature and I'm also a translator. Like reading, translation can make one feel like flying, taking a journey of discovery in tandem with somebody else's thoughts, perceptions, experiences at speed while controlling myriad of details. And to borrow some of the Romanian words from the anthology and for the purposes of this presentation only translate them into English, Când zbor nu mai simt spaima adâncului de sub mine. When I fly, I no longer feel the anguish in the abyss beneath me. Because I am a translator, I sometimes find it difficult to read only for pleasure, and my fellow translators tell me I'm not alone. Translation is a magnet. I am perpetually fascinated by words, sounds and image, languages and the transfer of meaning. I search incessantly for the meaning behind the meaning. And that is only natural, as such deep meaning inhabited our souls from young beginnings, sprung from something ancient and timeless that stayed, as history will tell us, for a long while in all that is and it's still becoming humanity, through image, pereți pictați, silence, ștergarele în jurul icoanelor, fragrance, incense and holiness, busuioc, pânză curată, mere și ceară, and through the feeling of friendship and safety. That holds true irrespective of the language in which we, all those who have arrived here, at the end of the past and the beginning of new millennia, feel think and speak. And our words, this anthology's words, reverberate across language and culture, bringing Australia and Romania even closer. As I took myself out of the translation space and I approached the anthology as a reader, I discovered a new universe where love, spirituality, innocence and hope come together as key themes, as focal points that resonate with every moment of our existence. The themes are aptly captured, not just in the literary themes, treasures materializing on each page of the anthology, but also in little snippets of wistfulness that accompany them and set the reader's expectations. I felt the urge to stay a while and quietly ponder on such reflections before searching deeper for new meanings and mysterious adventures. And so I enter the space of love and hope, where I am lost and then found again in feelings that come adrift. I am intrigued by the soul-bearing confessions and the tortuous anatomy of love.
I stay a while to uncover, piece by piece, bone by bone, striking love stories that offer glimpses of the poet's most intimate inner universe, the organic connection with nature, the advancements and waste of modernity, and the primordial return to selves, consumed by life, by love, and yet somehow ready for a rebirth. Sometimes love and hope take a whole new meaning. I stay a while to remind myself that we stand together as one in solidarity, sharing humbling and sobering reflections on the challenges our beautiful planet is facing, occasionally painting a foreboding sense of quiet despair. I stay a while to explore love and spirituality through the lens of childlike joy as the colors of innocence gently fade away and come back to life in endless simplicity. I cross the threshold of childhood memories in a house where painted walls are imbued with stories of the past and with the shadows of those who have passed yet are forever present. An encounter of spirituality and love is the surprising tale of the guardian angel in the storage room. I would guess that it resonates with the innocent child in each and every one of us. It most definitely marks a return to my own childhood as I see myself again in my parents' home a curious child trying to unravel the mysteries behind the doors of the storage room in the hallway, in the boxes full of decorations, sitting on the top shelf and patiently waiting for the next Christmas Eve to be taken down and cherished. But there is more to it, and I stay a while to embrace the power of prayer in the solemn moments as I am reminded of the true meaning of Christmas. There are many moments when poetry feels like prose and prose reads like a poetic adventure. The narrative of love, innocence, spirituality and hope lends itself remarkably well to this genre crossover. Stay a While is an ambitious bilingual project that Mihaila Cristescu and Sue Crawford achieved with superlative grace and wisdom. I reluctantly part with this literary gem, craving for more and looking forward to their next project.